so guys, um, if you are not familiar, um, I got um, suspended on Twitter last week, okay, for no reason. I was not given any email notice from Twitter, because usually if you um, are, uh, even if there's a report filed against you sometimes, you receive an email and they will give you an, an explanation as to why. So I did not receive any of the customary emails saying that this is specific tweets that you that are against terms of service. No email detailing any wider policy that I violated whatsoever. I have received no notice from Twitter about why my account was suspended. I have good uh, news for Hindus. Oh, and one particular Hindu in, uh, in specific. Um, I have good reason to believe that it is very, it is likely that um, my account was suspended for. Um, uh, I don't even think I, do, I don't even, I did not often directly blaspheme Hindu goddesses. I was maybe just talking about blasphemy in general, maybe. Um, retweeting it and stuff i uh regardless it, i have heavy reason to believe that it is because of my support for blas blaspheming hindu goddesses in general um so <laughs> marcia is saying susanna you have arrived <laughs> um, However, this is extremely frustrating because i if you don't even receive that email i can't i have to just send a blind appeal Right? I can't even reference a specific case or give make my case to Twitter about any um, how they wrongfully assumed that I violated their policies um, because just I was going to send a tweet and then all of a sudden I couldn't because it just said I was suspended. So Armin was suspended um, a few months ago and we also believe that he was um a wrongful suspension that he did not they actually gave him a reason though that it was for hateful conduct um i don't believe that any of his tweets actually meet the standard of hateful conduct as defined by their own terms of service um and so we have devised a strategy plan oh edgar Payne is saying temporary suspension susanna if that was the case they would have notified me I no, it's very interesting because I got first three, like, I got three temporary suspensions every time telling me that I'm saying something hateful, even post, even though it was literally just blasphemous arts without any, you know, so, some of them without any commentary. Uh, it was just the art of Hindu goddesses that wasn't even nude. Um, I, I got messages for, and then eventually I got fully suspended and I got emails about it. I got words about it. Susanna was just like, no Go email, on. no warning and a full permanent suspension um right after this is the and so what's your theory um that a certain butthurt attorney um he he claims responsibility for getting me suspended um Yes, so uh, those who have been following our situation for a while, there is an Indian attorney who has... Um, Do you want to show or share your screen? Uh, not at the moment, because I don't want there to even be the accusation of me inciting harassment against this person. Um, who has mm. filed a uh, motion, or no, public interest litigation in the Supreme Court of India that does not name us as a necessary party, but it does explicitly mention Armin's blasphemy as a reason why the government of India should hold social media companies directly liable for the content hosted on their platforms and that the government should establish expert officers who monitor hate speech and fake news. Um, so that's, you know, not authoritarian at all. Um, he also filed a civil suit involving uh, Armin's blasphemy, uh, although there have been some developments in that civil suit, that lawsuit. Um, yeah, so this person is after us, and I have reason to believe that he is involved. Um, but should we talk about our strategy in this, or what do you? Have Before to you do that, I, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying you should share anything or not. I'm just gonna comment like I'm not. You don't need to say like yeah, okay, but I'm not still not doing it. It's fine, but I'm just going to say I think you're being way too careful. Uh, there's no way just highlighting a public tweet about somebody, a lawyer doing something, something that they made public. There's no way that could be seen by any court or any laws, harassment, 
um, just us highlighting like, oh, look, this is what this lawyer is saying about us to if you're getting anybody telling you that that could be seen as harassment. I don't I think they're being way too cautious, even from then when then we need to be if we want to move forward with this. But yeah. OK, well, let me find it. Wait just a sec. Luke is saying Armin can give you a tour of Twitter jail. He knows it well. Yes, this is what I was saying to Armin. I was like, I wasn't expecting to be cellmates with you this quickly. <laughs> like, I am, she guys, and I'm, I am so good. I am so good about Twitter's terms of service because I don't want to deal with the stress, the constant stress of getting our accounts back that I have to deal with consistently since september it's stressful it's not fun it takes up a lot of my time i know sorry so um yes i was supposed to free armin from twitter jail instead i ended up as a cellmate next to him <laughs> <laughs> um so uh there is okay i'll just screw it i'll just show it um so here you see wait okay let me uh, a tweet by this this individual saying this is a lawyer yes that skeptic Susanna who posted a derogatory <clears throat> post on Hindu gods and goddesses now her Twitter account is also suspended after my complaints so he's tagging he's claiming responsibility and then he tags um, several uh, likely BJP IT cells and then here's the incriminating evidence um so here's like a screenshot because when you report someone and if you're successful in your report then you get they tell you you know and think an update on your report uh our investigation found this account violated the twitter rules okay what's to be fair i do not know if this is genuine like maybe this is doctored i don't really think so but what's important here is that there is nothing it doesn't specify which rules I've reported a lot of people on Twitter, well, not a lot. I've reported a fair amount of people on Twitter before. Every time I've, my report has been successful, it details the specific rule that they violated. Usually it was for releasing personal information or targeted harassment, right? And so they would specify this here. This Even this does not specify what I violated. All right, let's move on to what you're going to do because I really need to be on this call. Whoops. Yes. So, um... I, we are going to take Twitter to the Better Business Bureau. Um, do people know what the Better Business Bureau is? Let me find out. Like, okay, let's just like let's do what, uh, like only one more minute of explaining this because I have to go. So the Better Business Bureau is um it, it 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 it's it's a nonprofit organization, but it also it's involved in establishing marketplace trust. And um, your score that you get at the best, Better Business Bureau is very important in America and can have consequences. So you can file a complaint with the BBB and um, this will affect the score of a company. And this is very serious. So a lot of people have recommended that this is a way for me to get my account back. So this is the action that I'm taking. And if this is not successful, I'm going to take them to the Federal Trade Commission. Wow. Yeah. And even if this doesn't succeed in anything, at least we could use it as a way to see um, if we could, you know, if it works or not, right? Like, uh, even if there, we will, um, a lot of people say, oh, it will work, it won't work. We have to try. We have to try everything we can do, right? Um, but yeah, so we will keep you updated on the progress in this. So we're going to keep escalating it and see how far we can escalate it. I mean, they managed to escalate our case all the way to the Supreme Court of India. Um, we just, we might as well start escalating back. Like, we instead of just taking this line back, we want to, you know, fight back instead of just accepting what's happening, right? And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not? Where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free. It's not even promotion. It's free. Okay. So if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy. Of why there's no God. Ah, come on. Like, I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon, and you get it for free. So, subscribe to our newsletter, and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.